welcome class 4 students today we are meeting again to do recapitulation of chapter 1 the world around us that we learned in the previous weeks in this revision session we will try to recall some important points from the chapter so let's get started Long, long ago, the earth was green and clean. But after some time, someone invented machines to make life comfortable. However, we now realize that earth is getting warmer because sun's ultraviolet rays are reaching the earth easily and damaging the life on the earth. Now let's see what are its effects. Number one, the temperature of the earth is increasing every year. Number two, the amount of rainfall is getting less. Number three, many animals and birds are getting extinct. That is, they are disappearing from the earth. Number four, the amount of pollution is increasing day by day. Number five, People are exposed to toxic air pollutants in many ways that poses many health risks such as breathing problems, contaminated food, contaminated water, etc. Students, now you all know when is the Earth Day celebrated? Yes, on 22nd April and in the year 1992, an international conference was held in Brazil to make this day memorable. And to spread awareness, people across the world take up a number of activities like tree plantation, awareness camps on environment related topics, pollution reduction camps and many more. Now students, this chapter includes one beautiful poem. Let's revise it quickly. Up into the banyan tree, who should climb but little me? I held the trunk with both my hands and looked around all nearby lands. Here, the poet imagines himself to be a small boy who loves to explore. So, he climbs up a banyan tree and tries to see nearby places. I saw the next door garden lie full of flowers before my eye and many pleasant faces more that I had never seen before. Here the poet mentions the things that he sees around like garden, flowers, people etc. And what else does he see? I saw the dimpling river pass and be the sky's blue looking glass. The dust roads go up and down with people tramping into town. That means the poet says that the deep rivers are like a mirror for the sky and he also watches people walking on the dusty roads. If I could find a higher tree, farther and farther I should see, to where the grown-up river slips into the sea among the ships. And now, he wants to climb up higher and higher because he wants to see the river getting mixed with the sea, where ships are sailing. To where the roads on either hand lead onward into fairy land where all the children dine at five and all the playthings come alive. Now here the boy imagines that if he could climb a higher tree he could see the road going towards the fairy land, the land where all the toys come into life. This poem is written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Now that's the end of the chapter. Children, read the chapter thoroughly. Thank you.